yearbook. Yeah, you don't have to, um... Remember that period of your life when you had an extremely regrettable haircut? You do. But no one wants to talk about that. Remember when one of your favorite TV characters had an extremely regrettable haircut? Now that's something we're willing to talk about. You are so dorky! It's a recognizable feature among many popular shows. Your Jim Halperts, your Adam Sacklers, your Andy Dwyers. They all had a look early in their shows that would barely cut it for a middle school picture day. But, as their stories evolved in the show, so did their hair. Hairstyles can coincide with and reflect a character's development throughout a show. Or, as we like to call it, character development. A few of the most recognizably evolved characters in TV all appear in the American version of The Office, in Jim Halpert, Michael Scott, and Andy Bernard. We'll focus on Jim. He was a paper salesman at a Northeast regional paper company. His unfortunate hairstyle to begin the show matched his unappealing job title. I just really think we should talk about it. Jim's story is as well known as his hair transformation. He spent the first two seasons with a really pathetic cut, crushing on receptionist Pam Beasley, who sat just 10 feet away from him. Only problem was, she was engaged. This was our introduction to both Jim's hair and character. Messy but well-meaning and desperately in need of some TLC, much like his love life. You're really gonna marry him? Jim's season three cut represents rising action in not only his character, but his choices in the barbershop. He left to the Stanford branch because of Pam, leaving his near bowl cut in Scranton. Then he ended up back at the Scranton branch after Stanford shut down. Jim's most notable moment of character development appears at the end of the season when he and his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend Karen Filippelli are about to interview for a position at corporate. Karen suggested that I get a haircut so that I could look presentable. There it was, right there. The beginning of Jim's peak character development. After this interview, still looking clean with his new cut, Jim returns to the office and immediately asks Pam on a date. Are you free for dinner tonight? Yes. Season four marks the first day of the rest of Jim's life as his more suave look coincides with a new relationship with Pam. We've gone from pathetic center parts and floppy bangs to a side part and some actual product. Absolutely correct. The resolution of Jim's character development is a happy one. Jim and Pam get married in season six. Now, we all know they have their difficulties in later seasons, but even the spray from Niagara Falls can't ruin a perfect hair moment. This is a man who has found the love of his life and tamed his calyx in the process. Jim also advanced in his career and became co-manager of The Office with Michael. We should all be so lucky. Wow, this is my lucky day. Now that The Office helped us bring this idea to life, similar follicular journeys are evident in other shows, past and present. Those Stranger Things mullets are begging for some character development. We'll get to those soon enough. <laughs>